All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to create primitives inside of 3ds Max. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to the modifier panel or the commander panel, maybe both. So we're gonna come over to this section here on the right side of the screen and you're gonna see these tabs that run right along the top here, okay? There's a couple different option tabs. We're gonna make sure the very first one is selected. It has a little starburst on it. And if you hover over it, it'll say create, okay? Once that's selected, we'll make sure this subcategory of options that are underneath the create options are selected here. We'll make sure the first one is selected, which is geometry. And make sure this drop down right here, that's called standard primitives, is selected. Later on, we can talk about some of these more advanced primitives, but standard primitives is going to be where 90% of the things you're going to use are located. So we're going to see below here, we have our boxes, our cylinders, our spheres, our planes, a couple other useful shapes. So we're going to just draw out a box to start. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on box. Okay. And once I've clicked on it, I'm going to come out to my scene here and I'm going to left click and hold, and I'm going to drag out the footprint of whatever size box I want to make. Okay. Once I'm happy with the footprint of my box, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let go of left click and I'm going to move my mouse just freely up and down and you'll see I can adjust the height of the box. All right. Once I'm happy with the height of my box, what I'll need to do is I will left click to confirm it. Okay. Now my mouse can move freely, but you'll see that the box tab is still selected. Okay. Over here in my command panel. All right. That's because right now I can draw out infinite number of boxes if I wanted to. Let's say I wanted to draw out a couple of boxes really quickly, I could. So right now you can still see I could click, let go, set the height, let click, draw another one, draw another one, etc. Now let's say I made this box right here and I left click to confirm. And let's say I wanted to stop making boxes. I can't come over here and click on this to stop making boxes. But what I can do is I can just right click my mouse and that will drop me out of the creating mode all right another fast way to do that is just come over and select your move tool or use the shortcut w on your keyboard to select the move widget and that'll drop us and not make us have to create primitives anymore now let's say that i wanted to create a primitive so i'm going to drag it in our box okay i'm going to pull it up and this time before i'm done with it I can just come over here and I can actually input values. So let's say I wanted this to be 35. I'm gonna hit tab 35, tab 35, and I'm gonna hit enter. And it's gonna confirm that so I can have a very exact size for what I did. I can also, once I'm done with that box, I'm gonna right click to confirm it. I can go to box mode here and I can actually even open this keyboard entry tab. Before I do that, I'm actually just gonna left click on these and hit delete just to kind of clean our scene up a little bit. I'm going to left click on box. And this time I'm going to come down here to keyboard entry and I'm going to open it up. It's going to be a little a dialogue that'll open. And what I can do here is I can set where it's going to spawn when I create this box and I can set its size. So I'll go 35, 35, 35, and I'll click create and it'll create my primitive right at the zero space, which is super helpful. So we can do that to adjust it. We can also make it a cube when it creates or a box when it creates. And we have these perimeters that we can still adjust to be very precise when we're first bringing our primitive into the world. Now, if you confirm your object and you really want to come back and you said, I just made this object, but oh no, there's no way to edit this anymore. All we need to do is we have the create tab right here. And the very next button to it is called modify. We can actually click on that modify button and we can still get back here and edit our different options for our box at the primitive state, okay? So that gives you a little bit more flexibility if you were to accidentally create the box, but you wanted to say, oh, I wanted to edit this at the primitive level. We can still do that by coming up to where our create tab was and clicking the tab right next to it called modify. That'll allow you to come in here and adjust some values after the initial creation.